Hi, this is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine. The last few issues of Farm Journal we've been covering invasive species in a series that we call Space Invaders. And then the last issue we covered a weed called Poison Hemlock. I've got you down here at my own little weed lot here and uh, with an example of Poison Hemlock I made my husband leave one sample just so I could show you and it's not as showy a weed this time of year. When I saw it this spring I thought we had Queen Anne's lace coming up everywhere but then I realized it was too early in the season for Queen Anne's lace and also that the weed was getting taller and taller and taller. Turns out it was a noxious weed called Poison Hemlock. And the most distinctive way to recognize this weed is at the bottom of the stalk you'll see some kind of purpley spotches. And you can see that this is about eight feet tall. I'm standing up on a hill, so, and it's putting on seeds everywhere. And the reason we're talking about this weed right now is that these seeds are already germinating. And I can find pretty good evidence of uh, lots of seedlings coming up. And fall is a great time to control those, according to the weed scientists that I've been talking to. Poison hemlock is a biennial, which means it spreads its life over two years. But I'm already seeing seedlings of this weed, and I think this is a good time in the fall to get control of it before it um, takes root and I have additional problems next spring. This noxious weed is lethal to livestock in enough quantity. Here's a real good example of a uh, seedling that's now turning into an adult. Seems I can grow a pretty good crop of this weed. This is the leaf, poison hemlock leaf, and it's very distinctive when you actually compare it to Queen Anne's lace and some of the other relatives in this weed family. The other thing is Queen Anne's lace blooms this time of year in the fall and has kind of this um, center in it, whereas poison hemlock is more little clusters that form an umbrella in a larger overall flower. Plus, the leaf of Queen Anne's lace is quite a bit different than poison hemlock. So I'm not the only one that can grow poison hemlock. I found quite a bit of it here along the side of this roadway and along the side of a cornfield where weed specialists are concerned because it's starting to work its way into pasture settings and also no-till fields. And because of the toxicity aspect of this weed, it's a good idea to keep it under control. This is Pam Smith reporting for Farm Journal Magazine.